So now we're going to go ahead and assemble our card, and this is just going to be an A2 um, size card, and I'm just going to do one of these where you open it from the top. I've gone ahead and I pre-cut my pieces, so these are going to be the inside layers of it. I also have this piece that's going to go here, this one that's going to go here, and let's see what I do with the other piece. And here goes the piece for the top. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and glue it with my Helmers Craft Glue. I absolutely, absolutely love this um, product for gluing down paper. It makes sure that your papers do not lift off your project. It dries pretty quick and it's just really easy to work with. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this on the bottom. This is going to be our bottom layer. And notice that I went ahead and I cut the corners with my corner chomper or any corner um, punch works really well. You can also use your scissors if you don't have a corner cutter. Then we'll take this one and just place it in the middle. And then this one just goes on top right here like this. Make sure that it's pretty even distribution between the spaces. Again, it's a handmade card, so there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of shift and you don't have to have the exact measurements in between, right? So then this one is going to go right here like this. So there goes the beginning of our base. Then we're going to go ahead and take this white piece right here and we're just going to glue it in the center. Like that. And then I'm just going to look for a sentiment. I didn't really think about what I wanted to do for this one, so let me see what I can put in here. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll do happiness in the center. And let's see if I can find, so maybe I'll do, no, happiness is a little too big. Maybe we'll do smile. Yeah, let's do smile, that'll be a fun one. So we'll do smile in the center, just a really simple um, sentiment. And we'll just grab one of our blocks right here. And this is from the Kinder Stampo Grungy Inspiration Stamp Set. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Memento ink for this. And press into the ink like that. And then just press it into the center like this. So now it says smile. We'll move this over to the side because we're all done with that. Then we'll grab some of our Helmer Zap Dots and we'll use, let's see, the quarter, the half inch squares for this. And we'll just put four or five on here just to make sure that it's nicely um, dimensional on this card. Okay, so we'll put this right in the center like that. Then I've gone ahead and in a previous video I showed how to make your own um, colored seam binding using your Lindy Stamp Gang Spray, so look out for that video on how to do that. And then all I did was I took it and I tied it with some twill, so now it's nicely tied with some twill, and again, we'll go ahead and use my craft glue for this. Just put a nice little glob on there. Like that. And then we'll grab a sweet little flower. This one is just a white little petal flower. 
and we'll put it right in the middle. And then I think maybe I'll even put a little rose in the center of that petal. So let me just grab a rose and open it up nicely. And then again, just put a little glob of glue on there. And then just place the little white rose in the center. Then again, I'm just going to take one of my white jelly roll pens and I'm going to add a little bit of stitching around the card because I like how the handmade um, colored seam binding kind of just adds that really sweet and extra handmade look to this card so I think the stitching will tie that in a little bit better and just kind of fill in those little white spaces that are around the craft paper. You guys will notice that I didn't use any Tim Holtz vintage um, photo distress inks on here because I just wanted to keep the colors really light and sweet and just make this nice card to give to a friend. Maybe they're having a bad day and you just want to remind them that, you know, they just have to keep smiling. Things will get better. So that's kind of what I was thinking with this card. So we'll just finish off this stitching right around the border. And nice, just like this. Okay. And then, you know what, let's also run it through the center just to make everything kind of match. Okay, so there you go. Another really cute and simple card. Just a nice little inspirational card to give to your, one of your friends just to remind them to smile. And I put this really bright purple bow on here. You'll notice when you see the photo that there is some lilac on here. So I just really want to pull that color out from the card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick card and I can't wait to share new ideas with you really soon. Thanks for watching.